Oops. Wow. Sure, jumping around a lot. We do have a lot of stuff on our profiles, don't we? So here are my DNA confirmations. Okay, so oops. I have very few actual sources in my own profile. And then I have my DNA confirmations. And so I do my I did did my close ones close. And then as I go through, I go get further and further away. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's an example. I I wrote here, you know, that I'm a descendant of Lawrence and and, and Lena. And then I wrote the confirmation, paternal and maternal relationships confirmed with a test patch between me and my brother. Our ancestors are our parents, and the relationship is brother based on sharing this much DNA. And the confidence is extremely high. 45 so, so segments, that, yeah. Okay, so then I've got another one. Um, and this one is between me and my brother on our X chromosome. And then I've got um, uh, my brother and I and our niece. Mm. And oh. then I've got, um, and then I explain that because there's a, uh, because of the full sibling relationship that I've already proven with my brother Peter and, and the niece relationship that I've proven with our niece, Therefore, my other brother. Okay. And then I do the Y DNA. And then I do more, um, more autosomal DNA, but further away. And I just keep getting further and further and further away. And, and the furthest I've been able to make a successful um, DNA confirmation is a fourth, uh, sorry, third great -grand grandparents. I, 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 I thought I had one with fourth great grandparents once, but then after further study, it turned out that no, it wasn't, it wasn't valid. And I had to abandon that one. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you, Murray, so much. Thank you everyone for waiting for Murray to show me. I really appreciate it. Oh, no, I don't think we've ever um, walked through a, a confirmation, DNA confirmation. Yeah. Uh, citation so that was really interesting thank, thank you, you Murray. It helps yeah. everybody i've never seen this either so this is new to me really? yeah. <laughs> okay uh -huh. wonderful um murray is it all right if i take the screen the screen course, back what, from you? what do i need to do uh, oh, so I, there we go okay yep. i yep. just want to show um beverly had put in the um in the chat that brackets were not working for your hyperlinking right uh, my sources are old-fashioned and i know that wikitree likes links so you can go right to the source on the internet so right. i have to right. go back and backtrack all my ancestors and make them clickable or whatever you want to call it and i'm trying the the, the just say it or show me one how it should be because i've tried with brackets i've tried with parentheses and i've tried all mm -hmm. kinds of things i'm not having success so well let me show you there there are two things with brackets that would create a hyperlink and one is when you hyperlink to another wiki tree profile so basically the formula is and it's a double bracket double square brackets and the after the idea is that a slash forward? It looks straight up it's, and what it, it's called a pipeline. And on my keyboard, it's uh it's underneath the backspace. Oh well, that might be part of my problem because I'm using a slash forward, a forward. Slash. Oh no, that that won't work. So it's a pure uh, up and down vertical line. And you sure I have name one. Of, Yep, name of the person. So for example double bracket, there's my ID, pipeline, Betsy Co, double bracket, will produce a hyperlink to my profile. 
Okay, but now to a source. I'm trying to okay. link to a source. Now, so the thing is, you're only going to use one of the square brackets. So one the, square bracket, and one then the square bracket, and then the URL. The URL space space whatever you want to call it. So here's an example. Um, Google.com space Google close bracket will produce a hyperlink to Google. Okay, and where does that space go? I don't see a space in that. URL. The space would be between the end, the okay. end of the address and whatever you're going to call it. And whatever I'm going to call it. Okay. And then another square bracket. Okay. That's yeah. what I was doing. I was doing the forward slash. So that's right. what I'm you don't want to close the bracket. You want to use the different bracket to close it. Now, Beverly, I'd like to, I like just like to say something about all of this, about about hiding hyperlinks. Um, when I'm browsing the web and I see a word that's highlighted, that's a hyperlink. I put my mouse over the word and then I look down in my browser to see what address it's pointing at because I can't be confident that somebody, you know. Um, somebody created a link that is benign. So what I tend to do in all of my sources is I put the actual source there uh, so people can see it. HTTPS colon slash slash. They can just see it. And and it might be long or it might be short. It doesn't really matter because it's in the sources, right? It's going, it's going at the end of the page. Now, I mean, if you were doing it in your text, if you wanted to link to something from your text and you wanted to use a keyword to do that, then, then, Using this trick is, is probably a good idea. But in your sources, you know, to say that it came from Ancestry or to say it came from, if people can see where where that link is going, they're going to be more confident in clicking it. Yes, yes, definitely. And, and I'm speaking as someone who has been around the World Wide Web since 1993. Yes, I'm, yes. I'm still cautious about following links. Yeah, definitely. Okay, because like we'll say on find a grave, I'll go down to the bottom where it says source citation. I click on that and then I just paste that whole thing in. Now, but it doesn't now, show, it doesn't light up like a link. Right. With find a grave, we've got a um, a special uh, special way to denote a find a grave. And um, uh, Stephen, what is it? It's it's two angle brackets. It's uh, we we looked at the example. Right, the two I, curly uh, brackets find the yeah. grave, all one word with no spaces. Sorry. Oh, really? Okay. Um, but I don't tend to use that. I, okay. I use the uh, inline citation. I, I use the citations at the bottom of the find a grave itself. Right. The paper paste that, uh, which includes the full URL within it, which is usually just you know find a grave forward slash and then you know whatever the profile number is. Um, but it also adds like the actual name of the cemetery and the person and potentially their birth date and death date, you know, just stuff like that. So I, I, I go to the bottom of the find a grave page, copy and paste, make slight little changes to it because like they add a little space here and a little space here and then it looks nice. And then I save it. And it is a link. They can click on that and go right to the and page. It's, right. It still has a clickable link. So then that will open up into a new tab and that would show you the actual find a grade profile. That, that's how I do it. But again, some other people may want to use the template, you know. Okay. I'll give it so, a go. So, Beverly, I put in the, the chat, there's a yeah. link to um, a, just a cheat, cheat sheet for wiki code that I put together. There's nothing magical about it. It's sort of what I stumbled upon and what I found I needed in my own journey early on. Um, it's a free space page. So if it's useful to you, that's wonderful. Um, right. If not, no offense taken. And again, that, that's probably okay. the shortest hand way to do it. If you have a memorial ID, then you just insert that number instead of the words memorial space ID. Yes. And make okay, sure one more thing while I have the mic and I won't ask my seven other questions. I have <laughs> done I have done my DNA on Ancestry and on uh, Family Tree DNA and I put that, I, I tried to go to, I think I went successfully to GEDmatch, but I don't think I completed the last step to Wikitree. So can you look at that and see if I did? What's oh, your, sure, Murray, I'll let you. What's your ID? Oviat, O V I A T T. Three. O V. Four eight four. O V E T T. 
O V I A T T. I A T T dash. Sorry, number again. Four eight four. Four eight four. And. O V I A T T. I thought I heard you say it. Got it. Okay. Um. That's why it was easy for me to do research all those years. That unusual name popped right. <laughs> So I don't want to show your I don't want to show your profile. So I'm just going to walk talk about it. Okay. Um, Am I there? Did I do it? It says here that you've got um, your you've got a family tree DNA test. That you did an MT DNA test. HVR one and HVR two, and that and you are, all, and that you are. You so you, so you didn't do a full test. I don't know. Um, and I did you, mitochondrial and I did autosomal, right? No, but what I'm saying is, is normally, normally when you get a mitochondrial test, it's not, it's not just the HVR1 and HVR2. You've also got the, uh, the CR as well. And it's, it's unusual if you've done it recently, how long ago did yeah, you do it? This was years ago. Mm. Oh, many years ago. Okay. Maybe very early on. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, okay. In that case. And that I don't, hard. I can't understand family tree DNA. So that I did ancestry and that's very easy to understand. So I've sort of ignored family tree DNA, but it was my ancestry one that I did the Jed match. Yep, Jed, Jed match. Is, right. it, is it, did it, did it go to, to uh, Wiki? Is it there? The yeah. ancestry one isn't listed here. There's, there's, there's a family okay. tree empty DNA one and there's a, uh, a family tree. Um, Okay, then that means the ancestry one is stuck in Jed match somehow. And I oh, wait, no, no, it. sorry. I'm wrong. I'm, I'm wrong. You've, uh, sorry, I'm look, I was look, only looking at your MT DNA. You, so down below that, it says Ancestry DNA and Family Tree DNA. And so have you copied it to GEDmatch? Yes, it's there in De GEDmatch, and it said ready to upload or whatever, and I tried to do it, and I don't think it was successful. That's why I wanted you to see. Okay, so so you're going to go to the add, uh, add DNA test information. The add menu, the first item is DNA test information. Okay, okay, you got it? To... So now go, look at that and you're going to see your tests listed. And um, on, let's see, on both. Um, oh, wait, you did put your Jed match kit in. Okay, so it's there. I did so it. That, no, that's me. Sorry, I'm looking at my own. I can't see yours. <laughs> okay, so you have to look at yours. So what you'll see, what you'll see on the, um, on the family tree family finder test yes, and yes. also on the ancestry test you will see that there's a field that you can fill in with your ged match id so you need to get you need to go find your GED, ged match id number copy that and be ready to paste it in here and then you need to go to um to each of your the tests that you've registered in wikitree and you need to add that information in the field that's provided for it you understand me well, say the last sentence again. Go to All right. Wiki WikiTree. I'll share. I'll share screen. Just a sec. So, share screen. Yeah, I can see that you haven't filled up the one. The ancestry DNA does not have a get match ID attached to it, so that one That's would still I need, need to, to get do. completed. Yeah. Well, neither does the FTDNA one. Uh, you know, so can you, see what, can you see this? Uh, can you see the DNA family tree mm -hmm. DNA? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so this is a mitochondrial DNA, so it's not asking for my GED match. I go down here to the Y chromosome. It doesn't want that. Uh, I need to go the other direction. Wait a second. There's Ancestry. So Ancestry, see it? See right there? It wants my GED match ID. Okay. Okay. And then I go down, and there's Family Finder. So you've done one of those. So again, it's asking for my GED match ID. And so what I what I do is I just go I click edit or enter, go down to the field, put and put the value in there, and then you have to press, and then you have to press save. If you don't press save, you're gonna you're you're gonna leave that blank and it's not gonna work. Okay? That's the magic word on Wiki Tree, right? Save. <laughs> yeah. Okay, does that explain it? Hey, I got it. I wrote it all down, so we'll see. I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. Thank Perfect. you. And I, and I have one question for you, Beverly. 
Are, do you know about uh, the uh, the Wiki Wiki Tree Sorcerer? Center. You know what? I think I did download that app and it looked frightening. And I think I put it to sleep or did something with it that it doesn't show up anymore. It so, was sort of overwhelming. <laughs> so uh, come back at our next session. Okay. Make sure that you are you have Wikitree Sorcerer working on your computer at that time. Okay. And, and we'll give you uh, five or 10 minutes to show you how easy it is to use Sorcerer and how okay. uh, it'll just make your life a lot easier. All right, all right. So what I'm going to do, sorry, sorry for that little blip, um, is I'm going to, did I lose you all? No, there you are. Um, here is an excellent video about Sorcerer. Oh, perfect. Um, that, that was done by Rob Pavey. Who's on the, YouTube? It's I on YouTube. I yeah. I looked at that. I did look at that and I thought I got it. But then after it was over and I had to do it, I didn't got it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we can definitely walk you through using Sorcerer. Um, our next session, speaking of that, will be uh, the second session of the month is always on a Sunday morning. So that would be the fourth, so maybe the 27th. Yep, right. Sunday the 27th at 11 a.m. Eastern, mm -hmm. uh, 3 mm -hmm. p.m. UTC time. Yep, exactly. So I think that is before the uh, time switches. So like we still have another yes. week. Yes, yes, it and, is. Uh, it is. Daylight savings. Yeah. Um, uh, Doris, you you said you thought you knew the answer to your question. Yes. Last chance. Do you want to ask? Do you want to ask it, sir? Okay. Um. I was trying to put in the death date for my sister, and she okay. passed away like three weeks ago, September seventeenth. Right. Yeah, and it keeps sorry. popping up that she's still living. So I'm wondering if it's just because it's so recent. No, it shouldn't be, um, because I did the same when I lost my mom, um, and I did it fairly soon. So it must be. Let, let me, without screen sharing, let, let me just look at, uh, let's see, I don't know that I have too many living profiles, but there, I would look at the radio buttons um, that, because there's one that says still living. And I think you need to- I clicked sure. it off and it you came can. back living. What device were you using to edit? What do you mean, which? Uh, are you using an internet browser on a computer? Or are you using a mobile device? I'm using my laptop. Your laptop? My laptop. Uh, I'm sorry. And, and then are you using uh, Google Chrome, Firefox? Chrome. Something else? Chrome. Okay. Should, the buttons should be working with Chrome updated on a computer. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I mean, to to toggle around with them and, and see, you know, yeah, I'm going to look at one of my profiles too. Just to... Doris, could you tell us again what happened and, and who said what? And... Yeah, I just, um, every time I put in her death date, yes, I go back, I save it, I go out, and when I come back in, it's still on and it still says living. Okay. And it, right. it's wiped out the, the date and the place. All right. So what what may what maybe the situation is that um, what, right beside where you put in the date, there okay. are a whole bunch, there are a whole bunch of little radio buttons. Now, the the radio buttons, one of them is is there for people who are living, and it says still living. Right. Okay. And I clicked off of that. Now, when you say you clicked off of that, you mean you disabled it? Well, it's got a blue dot, and I just take the blue dot out. Okay. okay. Yeah. Did 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 you um did you did you click on um confirmed like exactly this date? Exact certain. Yes. Certain. Thank you. Yes, you click certain. Yes. And, and, now... and Doris, are you the profile manager? Yes. Okay. Um, she's not on WikiTree. I mean, she wasn't. Yeah. So yeah. Are you, are you, you are the profile manager. Okay. Yep. 
Any I, I can see if I can find an answer for you. Okay. Trying to recreate the situation. Doris, <laughs> Doris, what is your ID number? It's Isaacs, I S A A C S. And um, mine is, wait a minute, 1995. Yes. Oh, 1985. I'm sorry. 1985. And spell your your uh, your surname again. I S. Is it Isaacs? Yes. I S A A C S. Okay. And you did hit full save commit changes, not just save draft, right? Correct. And then what did it do when you got back to the page? Did it say confirmation of the edit change? It didn't. No. It did not. Okay, so there's an issue on the save then. Wish I was more tech. I just hit save changes like I always do and mm -hmm. went out right. and. All right, full save commit changes, which then would give right. you a green box or a yellow box at the top of the window after it opened up saying. Oh, it, it said. What did it say? Said something about if you go out, you may lose. Oh, the uncommitted draft. So maybe you were editing a draft and it didn't go all the way through, and maybe it asked you to use the draft uh, instead. Uh, nobody else would have been editing the profile. But I click off, save draft, and redo it. Right, it right. Still okay. comes live. Maybe you need maybe. to clear. Maybe you need to clear your cache or something. It, maybe you're having an issue with, with like the cookies on the website or something. Are, can, are, are you in that profile right now, Doris? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Now, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and put in the date. Okay. And, and click on certain. Make sure that certain is set. Now, um, I want you to go up, let's see, um, where is it? Right above, right above the text box where you do the editing. Is, is there Why anything there? I'm you sorry. Know the text box, text box where you enter stuff? Right above that, is there anything that says anything about drafts being saved? No, it just says, please invite this person to join WikiTree. Okay. Unless they, to join WikiTree, unless they have given permission. Okay, you want me to save it after I put it in? So, so go, yeah, go, go down to I the bottom. In, I put in her death date. I put in certain. Okay. Okay. And as a, and, and it, it accepted the death date. Okay, so now, now say, uh, put in a, Put in a comment that says, uh, you know, added added death date and and then save. Okay. We, we want to know what happens. Will it save without an edit summary? Well, that's why I, I that's what I meant by by comment. Right, right. The comment. Okay, I put in added. Mm -hmm. Oops. She didn't add that comment. I'm wondering if that stopped it. No, I put in added death date. I hit full save, commit changes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Now what does it look like? It says saving. Okay. And then up at the top, it says changes saved. Okay. Would you like to share what you've okay. contributed with sure. friends okay. and family or now, now is participating the death date there? in the community challenge? Is, is the death date there? Now it's there. Okay. But if I go out, it might not be. <laughs> uh, go up, go to the top and refresh the page. And it might still have that query window at the top. You know, it's recycling what you've already submitted, oh. but it shouldn't save it twice. I don't believe it's going to do that. Okay, date there. 
One second, and I can tell you. Is the date there, Doris? One second, and I'll let you know. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> okay, now it's there. Okay. So I don't know what had happened. No, it's not happening. Yeah. I think I think that Steve's speculation about about um, about drafts is probably what happened. You, you 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 probably made the change and then you went to save it, but it didn't really save, and mm -hmm. so it saved the draft. And then you came back and and you didn't realize that it was it was telling you that it had saved the draft. And and you know what do you want to do? And so yeah. then yeah. you went ahead and tried to change it again, and and it just got confused. And maybe you forgot to put in the uh, the, the change summary at the end and. Who knows? But as long as you, you know, normally if you if you put in the change summary and you hit the save button, it should should do the job. And if it doesn't, you got to try that sequence over again. But but it was, it's worth going through the exercise. So, yes. well, <laughs> but so now we know what the confirmation screen looks like. So you know that if you see that screen, you know that that you have a confirmation of the save. If you're not seeing it, then you do need to check for drafts or see what else is going on. There might be a edit conflict that happens, especially on heavily edited pages. Mm -hmm. It'll say you know, notable dies immediately, and everybody wants to work on their page. So that could be an issue that you might run into, and you might not be able to save your edit. So yeah, just I guess it's a good reminder to kind of keep a lookout for all those. You know, Doris, a few years ago, yeah. um, when you edited a profile, it, it didn't save drafts. And and you could work on a profile for hours, and then mm -hmm. it would just be gone, just gone. <laughs> or yeah, don't remind me of that, please. Oh yeah, I kept putting it. Dramatic. I kept putting it in, and it was like, wait yeah. a minute, I put it there. Where is it? <laughs> it? Yeah, if you ever see a banner near the top of the page that says, you know, you, there's there's drafts. Do you want to discard the draft or use the draft? And also, there's usually a, a bit of text that says, see what the differences are. And so you may, me, me, you may not be sure whether you want to discard it or use it. You just don't know. So you say, okay, well, usually, show me. Well, usually I, I do. I hit discard the draft and I okay. start over again. Okay. So you're used to this. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Yes. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. What we're here for. Glad we've had that figured out. Now um, it is confirmed. Again, sorry about your sister. Um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But, uh, now she should reckon, Now she should show up as a profile with a different setting, be visible, uh, but you can control the privacy setting on her profile. So if you still want to be fairly restricted, you could do that um, because it's it's so recent after death. Yeah. Because of how close she is connected to you. If it was like your second great grandparents, well, they've been deceased for a while, so they're going to be an open profile. But yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, you're welcome. So glad everyone could come. We uh, we will be back on Sunday, October 27th. It'll be 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. Bring your questions. Come back. You can come back as many times as you want. I will say good night to everybody. And good night, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.